welcome to Waffle TV. I'm here with some of the cast of Thrones the Musical. How are you guys doing? Great. Doing well. Doing great. Good, good. Do you want to introduce yourselves quickly and who you play? Uh, yeah, I'm Nick and I play several characters. One of them, Grit, which I'm not dressed as right now. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> uh, Nicole and I play Daenerys and Joffrey. Uh, Al Samuels and I play Shajora Mormont from Bear Island. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about the show itself. Uh, well, so it starts off sort of as a bunch of friends watching the final episode of Game of Thrones ever, uh, and then kind of discovering that one of the friends doesn't know the show, so they kind of take him on a journey and sort of explain it all to him, and then we, we do a lot of fun little Game of Thrones bits throughout. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So it's actually original music, isn't it? How was that for you guys? Who was actually in charge of writing it all and doing the score and everything like that? Uh, we had a, our musical director, uh, who plays for our improv comedy musical group, uh, Baby Wants Candy, he wrote the music for it, and then uh, uh, there are about four of us who wrote, along with him, that wrote the, uh, the music, the lyrics, and the scenes, and it's really fun. It's really fun to have original music in it, because it's just, yeah, they're just really fun and catchy tunes that we love singing, even outside of the show, and they're all ridiculous and fun, and obviously Game of Thrones based. So... How do you think it is for people who haven't watched Game of Thrones? Is it the sort of thing that's accessible for everybody, or do you have to have seen the show? Uh, I'd say overall you're, you're better suited having watched the show. Uh, there are a lot of spoilers in our show, uh, and we, we don't apologize for that at all. <laughs> Um, uh, but I think because of the, the framing device, uh, there's just a lot of fun, funny stuff in it that if you haven't seen the show, uh, I have a couple, I know a couple of people who've seen it who afterwards were like, I have never watched the show and it's still a blast. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, one fun thing that, um, having the show take place, our show take place a few years in the future, it allows us to pretend and, and and make some choices on what might happen in the show in a couple of years but we just get to make things up which is really fun yeah which is a fun a fun take on it is like what would be the ending of the show what ridiculous things do we want to pile on and yeah I think you've seen the show so you know the ridiculous things that we pack into the closer uh, and the other thing too I know you asked about whether you needed to have seen Game of Thrones or not I mean it obviously helps because there's a lot of insight like if we're going to do a Star Wars parody it helps to have seen Star Wars but as long as you know the phenomenon you know some of the big characters that is really helpful and we've hopefully made a, a good musical one that has an arc to it and characters that you care about so it doesn't really matter as much if you haven't seen it yeah. I know that I've actually seen the show and for me I don't watch Game of Thrones and I still found it really really funny so so you can definitely go and see if you hadn't seen it but obviously better if you have um, so this is the what time that you've been at the French you've been at the French quite a lot haven't you uh, the Baby company, Wants Candy, yeah. this is Baby Wants Candy's 10th year, I believe, wow, yeah. uh, and 6th year in a row uh, here, and then Thrones obviously just premiered uh, yes, here yeah. this year, uh, but we actually did Fifty Shades before that, uh, right. Fifty Shades the musical started here at the Fringe as well, yeah. uh, and that was here last year, uh, and now we're really excited to be doing Thrones. Brilliant. Is there anything else you want to put in before we round it up, guys, or do you think yeah, you've got everything crawls? Yeah. Yeah. Right over. How is it for you sort of embodying the character of Daenerys? <laughs> is it? Yeah. Well, um, I think Amelia Clark is so cool and powerful. So to try to embody her and also have a fun take on it has been a fun challenge. And then also because we get to play so many characters, yeah. it's fun to show that range and be able to play in different ways. Anyway, it's a blast doing it. I hope it's a blast watching. <laughs> so where and when is it on? Uh, it's at uh, George Square Assembly 1 venue uh, at 5 p.m. every day. Brilliant. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming and speaking to us, guys. You've been watching Waffle TV, sponsored by Bulmers. Yeah.